Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Gio, and today we're going to be talking about Kasperi Captain's Journey to the Penguins, who I thought won. Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. It's been a bit considering. I'm sorry I wasn't able to get a video out on Thursday, just was kind of busy that day, but uh, I'm here with another one. And today's video that I'm going to be making is going to be talking about Kasperi Kapanen, who, if you don't know, is a player that was for the Toronto Maple Leafs, but today was traded to the Pittsburgh Penguins. And uh, ironically, he was drafted by Pittsburgh, so it kind of just sort of like sets in stone, since Pittsburgh drafted him, but like officially never played with them, or maybe he did play a few games with them, but he sort of just briefly played with them. But uh, he was traded today, and honestly, I really think that Pittsburgh kind of overpaid for them. Like, it was a pretty crazy trade to think that Kasperi Kapanen got traded for a lot more than he's really worth, to be honest. The Maple Leafs definitely stole a trade here. Like, to be honest, Ka Kasperi Kapanen, he's not worth what Pittsburgh gave them. Since, for example, uh, Toronto was given the 15th overall pick in the 2020 NHL Draft, when this year's draft is actually going to be one of the most stacked drafts that have happened in a while, you know, considering there's like Alexi Lafreniere, Quinton Byfield, Tim Stutzel, just to name a few. But yeah, so basically, I'll show you the trade. It was where Toronto got Evan Rodriguez, uh, 2021 first round pick, which is 15th overall, and then two prospects in exchange for Kasperi Kapanen and then two prospects. And honestly, I think it's really crazy that Pittsburgh would even pay this much just to get someone who, like I said, to be honest, paying for the 15th overall pick, like 15th overall pick, it, Kasperi Kapanen isn't even really worth that. I would say that getting giving them the 15th overall pick is already too much of a pay but then they also decided to give boy Evan Rodriguez and two prospects which kind of doesn't make sense to me especially since like I, I just said it it's gonna be a very stacked draft so kind of odd that they would decide to do that especially since next year they have to give up their first rounder to Minnesota so they're not gonna have any future until like 2022 and so I'm honestly starting to think that the uh, the Penguins, their dynasty is starting to close. Like their windows officially starting to shut. Their area of their era of Crosby and Murray and Latang and uh, Malkin, it's over. They've won two cups 2016, 2017 recently, but it's officially over. Especially since uh, all the players are starting to get older. For example, Jack Johnson can't play defense for his life. And, yeah, I mean, th there was the fact that they became a laughing stock. Well, they weren't really the biggest laughing stock considering Tampa was slept last year by Columbus. So everybody was focusing on that. But there was still the fact that they got swept by the, the Islanders, which is kind of sad. And then there's the fact that they lost in the play-in round to Montreal, the team that was supposed to be the worst team in the entire playoffs. So it's just kind of crazy to think that you went from winning back-to-back -back Stanley Cups 2016-2017, and now you can barely make it past the first round. And they didn't even make it to the first round this year. They made it to the qualifying, or the play-ins, but they didn't actually make it. So honestly, like... Again, you can leave your comments on what you think about this, but I I think it's crazy what the Penguins are doing here. Like, Jim Rutherford, who, if you didn't know, is their GM, I'm starting to think he should be fired. Like, he's... He made an interesting offseason, considering he got Zucker, he got Rodriguez, he got Cahoon, he got Shiri back, but this one just doesn't make sense. Yeah, like, you, like you, for example, you, you could just go down to the comments of the post by the Penguins, and let's just see if you, I'm gonna show screenshots as well, shouldn't have got rid of the 15th overall selection. 
Fire Rutherford. That first is too valuable. Fire Rutherford quickly before he gets to our other picks. GM JR should just retire for everyone's sake. Might be time for a GM change. She can improve the, pres the present without giving up the future. Hollander in the 15th overall pick is just ridiculous. Sweet trade, a first round pick in one of the heaviest drafts in the last 10 years. Proud, proud of you, Rutherford. Who in God name approve this? <laughs> so yeah, um, you, you can tell Penguins fans are very satisfied with this trade. Uh, you can tell that they love Jim Rutherford for his trades, and they think that their dynasty is going to be there forever. So, uh, again, thanks Jim Rutherford. And me personally, I don't really like the Penguins or the Leafs, so this one's just kind of neutral to me. But, you know, it's funny to think about how the Penguins were good for so long, and now they've officially used the well. Like, they've dried out the well, I guess is an expression. And, I mean... Their biggest thing would be to maybe turn it around, like, yeah, we all know that Tristan Jari is better than Matt Murray, and with the expansion draft coming for Seattle, they're probably going to end up losing one of them, so that's a bit risky for them, and then there's the other part where they might have to sort of create an even more interesting offseason, like, I, I don't know if that would ever happen, but maybe trade someone like uh, Malkin, like, if, if you saw their exhibition game that came before the playoffs where they were playing against the Flyers, they were so sloppy. Like, they were terrible. And when I say terrible, I mean terrible. They were awful. And then they would sort of just give up nothing but turnovers that entire game. Like, everybody always made fun of Evgeny Malkin for his play where uh, he was trying to make a trade. And he traded it right to the Flyers and then the Flyers scored. That was just an example of what was to come. Like, the Flyers just absolutely destroyed them. And then the Penguins tried to make a run, and it should have been a pretty easy run considering you're playing against Montreal, and then they managed to choke in four games. You couldn't even at least have won two. You had to have been taken out three to one in the series, and especially on Sidney Crosby's birthday. Like, how, how do you do that? How do you mess that up? Like, you let in two goals, and you decided to wait until Game 4 to start Jari, who was the obvious pick from the beginning, because Murray couldn't save anything. He won one game, and then after that, just kind of departed. And then while we're at it, I'm also going to talk about Jordan Bennington, considering Jordan Bennington. Ooh, that's an interesting story. How do you go from being a Stanley Cup champion and probably one of the greatest players of that season because of your improvement. How do you go from that to suddenly being taken over by Jake Allen? When people were talking about him looking nervous, he did look nervous that time. It's it's just crazy to think, like even the season I've noticed a trend, a lot of people that were really good are suddenly starting to become really bad. I don't understand why, but like a ton of people this year that should have been good are suddenly bad. Like, look at Devin Dubnik, for example. Look at Sergei Bobrovsky. Look at Jordan Bennington. Like, they're just not good anymore for some reason. And this season has just been the year of decline. Anyways, that's going to conclude the video. So, uh, I guess please consider subscribing, maybe leaving a like. I'm sorry if I haven't really been getting videos out. I also have had some things that have been sort of busy, kind of personal. I don't really want to get into it. But, uh, other than that, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and maybe leaving a comment, and I don't know, do you guys want me to do more NHL videos, or would you rather me do some kind of different video? Because, uh, I mean, I've been doing a lot of NHL considering the playoffs are happening right now, so it's kind of my mindset. Uh, and, um, so, I guess, again, yeah, leave me a comment, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys later.